The West is a land of contrasts. Yet most of the West has one thing in common, not enough water. Although rain and snow may be plentiful in winter, rainfall can be virtually zero from June to September. Oh, we know the pictures you've seen of green valleys, rich with orchards, but they wouldn't be without man-made reservoirs to store the rain and snow of winter. Reservoirs bring water to people and to the land when there is no rainfall. To help settle the West, the Bureau of Reclamation was created by Congress in 1902. Reclamation's first challenge was to build dams and reservoirs to provide irrigation water. Crops thrived on soil made productive by water. Family farms dotted the land. Towns appeared and grew into cities. To bring electricity to these farms and towns, hydropower plants were added to dams. Reservoirs enticed boaters and swimmers. Soon, recreation became an important reclamation project purpose. More recently, as public environmental awareness has grown, reclamation has taken up the challenges of preserving and conserving water for fish and wildlife. After more than 80 years, reclamation has built over 350 storage dams in 17 western states. Each year, they deliver water to 25 million people. Demand for water grows as population grows in the West. But the supply of water is limited. Reclamation is managing water so that we will have enough for the future. For example, Reclamation's Central Valley Project and the State of California's Water Project are operated in partnership for greater efficiency. By scheduling releases, we are supplying water to meet farmers and cities' actual water needs without waste. New irrigation systems also conserve water. This open ditch system recycles irrigation water. They're using siphons to pull the water out of the ditch into the alfalfa field here. Then once the, the water reaches the other end of the field, everybody in the district has a return system, and they recirculate that water back up into the ditch here and reuse it over again. Reclamation is developing new ways to save water. This technology, developed in cooperation with private industry, is used to line a section of the Coachella Canal in Southern California's Imperial Valley. Seepage from unlined canals causes water loss. Using new technology, we can prevent seepage losses. Such conservation efforts are especially important in areas where crops are grown year-round and where the water saved is used by people in metropolitan areas. We do over 300 car washes a day here. I understand it takes approximately 90 gallons at home to wash your car in your front yard, where here we only use about 30 and the water's recycled. We all need to be wise water users. Today, conservation landscaping called Xeriscape is becoming more and more popular. And new water saving devices are available to save water in our homes. Preservation of wetlands has also become a national priority. Some water from reclamation reservoirs is now used to maintain wetlands during drought years. Recreators need water too, and conservation is important in making sure water can remain in rivers and reservoirs for boating, skiing, swimming, and fishing. Water must be used wisely to make sure we have adequate amounts for now and for the future. Reclamation's move from a water project development agency to a water management agency will help assure efficient, effective use of this precious resource. With good management now, using all our human and technological resources, we will assure water for the future, for them, for the nation, and for all of us.